Sterichosaurus. Sterichosaurus. Is this the one that gave me a bunch of problems? It might be. It might be. Cross lizard. Hmm. Interesting. Does he hold the holy cross? Is this the religious dinosaur? That's a pterodactyl I'm gonna need. Nope, I guess I don't know where I'm looking. I think I randomly run into this guy. Actually, I think that's him right there. Now that looks like a velociraptor to me. I guess they're all kind of similar. I mean, they really did um, miniaturize the velociraptors in this. And Jurassic Park made them look like just about the same size as people or bigger. Or larger, complete. should I say. Please accept these data crystals. Give it to me. 16, alright. I think I have more energy crystals than I have dinosaurs left to find. So maybe they, they like capped it on me, like you can't have any more. Okay, that's the the pig slash warthog looking dino. And he is right around a log, I guess. There's a there's a dragonfly that's flying over a log and then he'll chase it. But you gotta sit around long enough for that to happen. So you don't wanna you don't want to like skim over it. You have to at least wait for the dragonfly to appear. And he'll usually show up right behind. There it is, finally found it. You see what I mean? Like six seconds later. Oh there he is. A very small window to capture him by the way. 32! That should be worth a lot more than that. The Therapsida clad is complete. Please accept these data crystals. Alright, what's next on our agenda? Eudimorphodon. Oh crap. Now this one gave me a huge amount of problems to find. Like, if there's a, a large amount of me messing around searching for this guy, I might just add it to when uh, I find him. <clears throat> Basically, we're looking for an, an ocean area, but uh, there has to be small bits of land in the same image in the background on the horizon. Um, it's kind of hard to hard to see, easy to mistake, and quite frustrating to locate. So yeah, I think I'll just pause and pick it back up once I find where that is. Okay, I'm back. Uh, actually, I think I look for him a little bit more, and then I give up. I like, I cash it in, um, I, I say, you know, he's not, he's not showing up, I'm wasting too much energy looking for this particular dinosaur, might as well skip it for now, but, as far as I can tell, he does not want to be found, um, as of yet, but I'll get him, he's a sly one. Okay, so as you can see, my energy has dipped even more. I think this is exactly the point where, yep, we're going back. Finally, uh, you guys might want to thank me because I just edited uh, a good <laughs> at least 12 minutes out. <laughs> a 
good 12 minutes was edited so that we can press onward. Now this guy, he's easy to find. He's a slow moving, uh, I don't know, he's a definitely a type of pterodactyl. We're just looking for like the, the rainforest area. There it is. He comes out over there. There he is. Looks like a giant uh, toucan. It's Toucan Sam in the past. And for whatever reason, they didn't like my video of that. So back we go. Try it again. The exact same area. I think there's another like. Uh, there's another shot where you're over. Like at the top of uh, like a high rise or like the top of a mountain looking down over a valley and you would think there'd be a flying dinosaur there but there's not. I, it's like right at the bottom of the map like the small Australia looking zone. <laughs> I might see it and I'll point it out. If not, just, you know, there's an area that looks like that, but there is no dinosaur that will ever show up there. That is a couple pieces of land, but that's not one where those dinosaurs show up. For whatever reason, that guy comes out now, and I should be taking a picture of this, or video cameraing this, because he's hard to find. You see, I think that's South America down there. But anyway. That guy will come back to haunt me. That little pelican thing. Oh, we're looking for Ramphornicus. I think he's by South America. Or the little part of the globe that looks like it. Right there, right there. That is the overlook where I think there would be a flying dinosaur, but there is nothing that shows up. So, I kind of, I guess I get lucky and run into him eventually, but I'm way off base. Oh, there he is. And it is that part where there's a little bit of land on both sides, so I was wrong. So then the flying dinosaurs only come out in areas where there is land on the horizon, from what I can tell. Okay. Pterodactylus, let's do it. Okay, now this dude is kind of tricky. He's uh he's by a beach and he's hobbling on I guess all fours if you're a bird. Uh, now he's easy to find, of course. When I don't need him, he comes out. Um, I'm looking for the beach. There's a particular spot right there. He will appear right here. I may or may not need the bird call. No, he comes out. Now you don't want to start recording until he's like in the middle of the shot. Otherwise, you will not get credit. And everybody wants extra credit. Look at them cries. He's looking for food. It's like Tom Hanks stranded on a... Uh, <laughs> it's survivor mode on a desert island. Alright, 64. We're nearly done. Cleaning it up. Kicking ass, taking names. Uh, I guess I took two videos just to make sure that one of them would give me something. Pterodastro. Pterodastro, that is a flying dinosaur. That is the pelican one that we saw earlier. But what threw me off is you'll see that there's like space in between his mouth on the right there um... 
the one image that they have in the game is like a silver kind of filling in between. I don't know if that's a graphical thing, but I don't know. It just looked like it was a different dinosaur. But regardless, I should have uh, recorded it, but I didn't. And now I have no idea where it was. And I'm coming back to the same spot, which has nothing. There's no dinosaur that appears here. Or here. I'm not sure how long this will take. Eventually, I'll get the show on the road. And I'll figure out where he's at. I think he appears at like a beach, uh, an ocean area like this where there's like nothing, but I could be wrong because I'm pretty sure I said like there's always some land in the background. There's definitely land here, but there's there's no dinosaur that appears on that particular image. We're all over the place. We're like uh, searching for Carmen in San Diego and it's not helping. It'll eventually pop out. I think I'm looking for a little bit of land and it'll show up. It's either that. No, nope. got that guy. Nothing appears there. Nothing appears there. That's the middle of the ocean. It's raining over there. That's Archaeopteryx tricks or whatever. Okay, but I think this is the one where you you have to be on land like the land is actually an ocean shot like okay let me describe this properly the mini map on the right hand side you have to be on physical green land for this dinosaur to appear and yet the image is of nothing but ocean So yeah, I don't know, we might be there, we might be closing in on him, no, we, it looks like we're going to the same places we've already been. Any second now, any second now, I will run into it and I'll be like, oh, we found you, you rascal, you, you very sly fox indeed. Nope, checking the delta. Even though we're turning, it's all the same exact pinpoint area, I guess. So, it doesn't actually change when you do that. We've definitely been there already. See, it was so easy to find the first time, but I didn't... I didn't know that it'd be so difficult to find later. Yeah, now I'm getting like into panic mode of trying everywhere on the map and are we gonna get there or what? nothing I spent all that time doing nothing serious? really? okay so here we are in the middle of the ocean, and there's our culprit, the uh, the elusive seagull, <laughs> or pelican, should we say? And he was in the middle of nowhere, and there was no uh, background, or I mean, no islands in the background, and he just appeared. But you, as you saw, he was like off the shore a little bit on one of the islands. Pteranodon. But it definitely took a while for him to appear, that's for dang sure. But he's got him. He's in the bag now. We're looking for Tyranodon or whatever. Tyranodon. Now this one I think there's a flock of these. There's three of them. But similar to last time. Or actually, do I give up on this one too? Oh, 
Uh-oh. I think this is one of those moments where, uh... I can't figure out where he's at, and so I'm gonna have to jump again. Actually, no, I lied. Uh, this is not as bad as it was last time. I actually find this guy relatively quick compared to last time. It's just any second now, he will uh, appear. And I think this is the guy that if you look on your mini map on the right hand side wait do I turn it in okay never mind we go back and we find that guy later but he's actually like on solid on solid land on the mini map which kind of throws you off because it's an ocean scene Kept out it's like what we took a rowboat out to the middle of the ocean just to uh, record that Oh yeah, it's you. This is the most stubborn of all of them. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. This is where he needs to come out. He will come to the capybara carcass any minute now. Any second. He'll come right around the corner. There he is. As you'll notice when a dinosaur is coming in, the sound will kind of cue out. Like it will soft, soften up. That's when you know that uh, something's about to happen. And you should stick around. So. Um, for whatever reason, that didn't record good. And I got zero for that. Definitely looks like the picture to me, but nope. It's not good enough. So we're going back. I have no idea why it didn't give me credit. So we, we play this game again of uh, coaxing the dinosaur out to our location. And I could use the bird call, but you know, like, why? Why? I want the highest score possible. Why would I want to waste points? And I know the dinosaur's here, he just wants to want, he does not want to come out to play. That's the issue I'm having. Actually, that last scene right there, or the one I had before that with the little island on the right hand side in the ocean, that's where one of the pterodactyl dinosaurs is at. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I wait for him to successfully land and start eating, and then I start recording. And here we go. We are recording what looks like a six second video because it glitched out. So I record another one and it, I don't know. It seems like a game bug or something because neither of them counted. That's right, neither of those were uh, in high enough quality for sale. 